Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's doing good. Today's gonna be a pretty cool day. Finally have a shift knob that I've been wanting to get since like forever. So we'll be putting that in our Civic again. Um, this is Acuity's low profile shift knob and we got it in red. So this is what the shift knob looks like. The shift knob comes with its own boot collar and zip tie so you can zip tie your boot to, the, to this little adapter right here. I'm so excited to put this shift knob on. I've been wanting a shift knob for like the longest time now. And so when I found out that this shift knob is like supposed to make your throws shorter, I've just been wanting it. So this is what the stock shifter looks like. Um, with the shift knob that we got, since it sits lower, it's supposed to have shorter throws. Right now we'll start the car up. I wanna show you guys what it's like with this stock shifter so we can compare for when we're done putting the shift knob on. as much as I can. Yep, nope. Still, still scrape. Second gear, going to third. So it's really not that bad. We'll see how it's gonna be compared to like the shift knob that we're gonna put on. The height of it, it's not that tall. It, 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 it's just perfect. All right, so this is where you guys will kind of get to see how long the shift throw is with the stock shifter. So I'll try to show you guys right here. Phillips screwdriver um, you need some pry tools honestly we're probably only gonna use this one right here or if you don't have any you don't want to get some you can just use like a flathead screwdriver just make sure you put something on the tip of it so you're not scratching up your your plastic pieces but yeah you're gonna use these to get this trim off and pretty much like this whole center piece too So once you guys get the side trims off, there's going to be two screws on each side right here. You guys are gonna go ahead and take that off. Once you guys get the screws off, you guys are gonna come from right here in the middle. You're gonna pop this up. So use your tool as leverage because it, it doesn't take that much pressure. You're just gonna pop it up like that. Another thing you guys can do is on the sides, there's gonna be openings. In the opening, just lightly pull up on it so your tabs come off. So once you pop this up, be careful because you're gonna have your econ, your parking brake, and your hold brake um, connections are gonna be right under it. When you pull this um, boot down you'll see it'll be like that white little tab right there so you just push that in with your flathead and the whole boot should calm down so once you have the boot down you just unscrew this unscrew it and then you can go ahead and take this off we're gonna take off this boot collar since we have a new one that we're gonna put in that goes with the shift knob. So go ahead and turn this inside out. When you turn it inside out, you're gonna see this zip tie right here. Go ahead and cut that off. So once you get that zip tie cut off, go ahead and turn it back out. And this adapter should just come off like that. All right, so once you have the stock collar off, go ahead and grab your new one. Um, 
place it in where the old one was at like that and then push it back inwards again and you're just gonna zip tie it again so once you cut off the excess of the zip tie go ahead and just push it back out again be careful with these clips when you're putting these trims back together i feel like they're really like brittle so make sure that when you pop them in they're going the right spot make sure you guys plug in your your wires that'll be really important so go ahead and plug these plug the wires back in and once you plug them back in you're good to put everything back together go ahead and put your screws back together before you even put everything back together, just turn the car on and make sure all your buttons work so you don't have to worry about taking everything back off. Go ahead and grab your shift knob. You're just gonna screw it on. Screw it on all the way. And this collar is really cool because you just pop it on like, like that. And yeah, you're good. All right, so once you put everything together, this is what it's gonna look like. It is sitting so much lower, but I will say like it feels super nice. Right away, I can already tell that the, sh the, the throws are definitely shorter. They feel a lot shorter and um, it feels really solid. All right, so it's probably been three days now ever since we installed the shift knob. And I have to say it feels super, super good. Um, if any of you guys out there are debating on getting this or still waiting on getting it, do it um you're not gonna regret it at all it feels super super nice so just from using this shift knob the past couple days it is day and night like compared to this uh the stock shifter oh shit Again, if you guys are planning on getting this, debating, whatever, still waiting on getting it, literally get it, and I promise you, you're not gonna regret it at all. Um, I mean, it's just it's crazy how much a shift knob can do to your like daily experience of like driving your car. Um, obviously, this isn't a short shifter. If you want shorter throws, then I would suggest getting an actual um, short shifter. With this shift knob, you're paying a quarter of the price to have shorter shifts. And this knob is advertised to shorten your throws like 5 to 10%. And honestly, I would say that, yeah, like that, that is true. And, and it, feels, it feels amazing also. Oh so yeah, guys, that's our take and our install on acuity slow profile chef knob make sure you guys leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel also make sure you guys follow my instagram there's a lot of updates on the car on there make sure you guys are reading the description too i usually have a lot of stuff linked on there so if you guys are curious on um, where to get this or that it's usually going to be on there i'll see you guys at our next video